name is Yulisha English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome to the most amazing day on... Oop, I hit my light. <laughs> the most amazing day for us on YouTube. Oh my goodness. This is the story of how Lone Fox saved our channel. Let's go. Yay, Lone Fox, you're the best. Okay, so I want to recap. Last week on Thursday, we had a video posted on our dashboard that we were going to be posting that afternoon and we were so excited to show you yeah. that our wood stoves arrived and that we were getting ready to do some really exciting things on our channel in our kind of journey to doing our homesteading and heating up our house this abandoned uh, house that we purchased just a few months ago and how we were going to heat it for the winter right. we were so excited to put up this video on thursday and no video got posted and then the video got posted by youtube without putting it to public, which has never happened before. And then which I realized- is the, Which is a standard. Which is a standard, yeah. yeah. It was just a setting YouTube was different. Didn't, YouTube didn't go, we're gonna post their video. No. That's not what happened. Because the reason that it happened is because our channel was actually demonetized. Yeah. And the settings when you post a video when you're not monetized is that they automatically go to public. Right to public. We didn't know that because we've been monetized this whole time. And so it was a total flip flop of what was supposed to happen with our video. Right. So what happened was, is we immediately realized that not just one video or two videos were demonetized, but that our entire channel was, which is our full-time income. Philip and I both work full-time doing our YouTube content, yeah. and that was a huge devastation for our family, hence the video you saw where we looked very run down and, yeah. and uh, at the bottom of a hole trying to figure out how we were ever going to climb out. And it was really frustrating. We had every emotion that day. Maybe ran down, but still <laughs> always optimistic. Yeah, we were still inspired to keep going, even though we just figured there had to have been a glitch or an error, or we just knew that there was no way that someone had seen our channel at YouTube and thought these people didn't meet the policies. And we did not think that anyone at YouTube had done anything on purpose. We, we love YouTube. We love being on YouTube. Yeah. So it was just kind of one of those things where we just had no idea where to go or what to do. So we started a second channel in hopes that we could start from the very beginning because we were not going to give up working on doing our channel on YouTube. We thought yeah, no matter yeah. how we had to do it, we were going to rise back up, Always. start from the beginning. Always. And it was amazing because we had over 20,000 of our YouTube family members right away. In like you first, guys came out. <laughs> 20,000. Oh my gosh. Of our YouTube family went over in the first 24 hours and subscribed to our new channel, English Homestead. And within five hours, five hours, five hours, our YouTube family watched enough watch time that we had almost 8,000 hours of watch time. 4,000 was required to be monetized on the second channel. And you guys did 7.9 thousand hours in five hours well, on the we, new channel. What, what took us eight months to do originally. Originally. Our first channel, Alicia English, took us eight, almost nine months to be monetized. You guys did that in five hours. So we got a letter, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, from YouTube saying, Congratulations! Your new channel is now monetized. It will take some time for those things to kind of like kick in, but we've met the requirements and the process for the new channel is on the way. However, something absolutely amazing happened and we were blessed with a comment on our video that said that our channel was demonetized. And this is a channel that Philip and I both watch that we've enjoyed and we all around just think is like an amazing human regardless of what has happened in this last week. We already had this feeling about this YouTube content creator. Um, but there was a comment that I was so excited to see in our comment section because I was like, ah, he actually saw my videos and he actually commented on one of my videos. Yeah. And then I realized, oh, it was a, the, not the video that I would have wanted him to have commented on because it wasn't an uplifting, positive video. It was about, you know, bad news. Yeah. But we got a comment from Lone Fox on the video. First saying, off, she's like, Lone Fox commented on my videos. <laughs> and I'm like, out. Drew commented on it? Like, I know him. Like, Drew commented we, on the video? We, we had like a fan moment where yeah. we were like, he saw our videos? No we way. No, he ever saw any of our videos before, let alone commented. And so we were super excited about that. But also the comment was that he had a rep through YouTube that he was willing to contact on our behalf. First of all, I want to make it very clear, Drew and I and Philip have never conversed before. We don't know each other at all. No. And there was absolutely no reason for a YouTube content creator with a million, almost a million, point three uh, thousand subscribers to 
reach out and care about a small YouTube channel like ours with 151,000 uh, subscribers. It was just out of the absolute kindness of his heart that he thought that he could even reach out and be like, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Like, I can't promise anything, but I'm gonna try. He so, truly went out of his way of being yeah. a human being and totally tried to rise us up. So we got a direct message right after that comment was made from him, and he was like, this, you know. I explained what happened and he's like, I have a rep through YouTube. I can't promise anything. I'm going to try my best. He said, he sent me the snapshots between talking with his rep and they were both seeming very like encouraging and trying to help us out. And again, like no promises, but just the fact that they were willing to try was just like, like be so my heart. He, we were just like, he was a so light. thankful. He was a light in a dark place. He helped us get through a really tough time. And he gave us that just that glimpse of hope. Monetized on your channel, you automatically lose some of the features that you have, actually all the features that you have when you're part of the YouTube partner program, like chatting with YouTube tech support. And so we were not able to contact anyone on our own behalf. Every time we went through the community tabs and all of the information that's provided, there was no way for us to phone or email or contact to have any live agent help us. And we did actually, I had an old email I had asked a long time ago when we did have a chat feature of something really silly just about titling videos. And so I reached out to that contact on our end through email yeah. and the email that we got back said, I'm really sorry this isn't the answer that you're looking for, but this was not a glitch and you can reapply in 30 days. But the video did not tell us what we did wrong in order to reapply or to not make those same mistakes on our new channel. Yeah, the email. The email did yeah. so we were so frustrated so I had sent everything that I had received or anything that I had heard about through to Drew and him and his rep were able to save our channel which is why we are on this video today this video is just to let you guys know that I don't know what kind of magical powers he had but we were able to have our channel saved and it would be completely the opposite if it hadn't been for just a really kind human who really just wanted to rise us up. And I was speaking to him on the phone yesterday, which again was like, I'm talking to Lone Fox on the phone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was a bit yeah. scatterbrained while I was talking to him because he had called to let us know that our channel had been fixed. Yeah, he went up on the And I said, on our channel, we always say, we rise by lifting others. And Lone Fox is the epitome of that exact statement. Absolutely. He did everything he could to rise us up and expect nothing in return or was not helping us for any, you know, gain on his own end. And so I'm asking all of our YouTube family members. Absolutely. We would love to do the same thing, although we don't have as many followers as Lone Fox. Um, we ask if you please would go over and show some love to Lone Fox on his channel. I will put the information Go over, subscribe. to his channel down in the description box. Although I'm sure many of you already follow yeah. his amazing um, home content and amazing DIY projects. But please spam his comment section with love and good vibes and make sure you're subscribed and watch his videos and just show him that our community can really help to rise him up and that we're so appreciative of his help and his rep's help. So I don't want to say the name of his rep because I'm not sure if that's something that they want to no. go public or not. But, no. um, but there are, not only was Drew an amazing um, human for helping us, but he also had an amazing rep that was willing to help him out and, and help with a channel that wasn't anything to do with Lone Fox's channel. So both amazing humans who did everything they could to help our family in a time that we needed it. Um, so that being said, we also want to thank you guys because obviously... Um, the only thing that really kept, kept us inspired and encouraged and wanting to continue on our journey on YouTube was that we knew that we had so many people and families watching us that were so there for us and oh, yeah. cheering us on and just so the comments, comments that we got, oh like we were, we just were told we were demonetized and we had like our moment where we were like, oh gosh, like, you yeah. know, that freak out moment. Yeah. And then with this, the comments from that video started to roll in on the new channel and Brought we started, it back home. and it just kind of, we sat for the last three days, which is why we didn't have a new video posted. We just really like decompressed and thought about all the things that we really just want to do and what this channel really means to us. And what kind of messages we want to have on our platform. It was a big eye opener. It was. And so we really just reflected on all the things that Philip and I like to do. And what things are really best for our family. And best for our YouTube family. And we had so many comments about like 
our, we're your YouTube family. We're here for you. Oh, yeah. We are here for you we through saw anything. It. We'll follow you anywhere. Yeah, we and saw it. It was those comments and those emails and those direct messages. And I know that there were a lot of people that were wanting to send donations to our family and saying, set up a Patreon or what's your PayPal account or how do we send you super chats or how do we do this? But the reality for us is, is that we didn't want in this moment for anyone to send us anything to help us. No. We have started from the bottom before and our channel platform was never to have people send charity or no. to have to pay for our content in no. any way. That's never, our channel has never been about monetary um, in any way. No. Other than that, being able to do something we love, we were able to get monetized through YouTube, the platform no. that we work for. Right. And so we never wanted that to happen. But I want to say thank you for everyone who did offer because yes. it was in those moments where we were like, these people just love us. They're willing to do anything to help us out. Um, so thank you for all of the offers. But we are okay and we're going to be okay. And it is because of you guys cheering us on that we will not give up and we will be continue to be here. So what is going to happen now? We have two channels and we have one that's in the midst of being monetized and one that already is. So Philip and I are going to take the next couple days while we're working on some really big projects that are going to happen on the channel um, that were already in the works and already planned for this week and really just reflect, are we going to put all the DIYs and like creative home content on Alicia English and put the homesteading on English Homestead? I think that's a for sure thing. Yeah. All the DIYs are definitely going to be on That's what's making sense to us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's kind of like, that, at, right now, that's what makes the most sense yeah. to us. Um, and if a few of you did catch the live chat that we did last night, we talked about some really exciting things that are going to be coming up on our channel and also some different things that Philip supported me and having me be able to start up as well. So we're really excited. This little like um, setback has really opened our eyes into like what we really want to be doing. And so we are going to be showing you all of that. And I'm excited about what the future of our whole of this all holds. Um, everything happens for a reason. We don't know what that reason was, but. Maybe it was just for us to meet such an amazing human and show <laughs> yeah. us that there are just some really good people out there who just really care and, and really how much we're loved and supported. Because there are days where you forget and, you know, life gets tough and you're like, oh, you know, so maybe it was just a wake up call. I don't know, but we're thankful that everything worked out and we're thankful for you guys and we're thankful for Lone Fox and his team for helping us out. So. Um, so we are back to regular content on the Alicia English channel. And we're excited to be able to post continue. So if you've already unsubscribed to this channel yeah. and subscribed on the new channel, uh, we wouldn't mind if you hit subscribe again because we're still going to be on this channel. Yeah. And if you are subscribed to the new channel, we will be posting stay content subscribe. there as well. It will be different than on this channel. So stay yeah. subscribed if you want to see basically everything that we're working on. But uh, I don't like this morning I woke up. Not only did I sleep like a, a rock, yeah. because um, we were obviously feeling so much relief before bed last night, yeah. um, but woke up feeling just like super happy and inspired and just with this beaming light towards like what we know we're going to be working on. So we're pretty excited. I can't wait to get it started. <laughs> so head over to Lone Fox channel, send him some lovely comments, thank him for helping us out, subscribe to his channel if you don't already. And we have some ideas and some things we want to do to thank Lone Fox for helping yes. us out. But leave down in the comments if you have any ideas. Yeah, if you have any ideas, but we have a few of our own that we think would be like really personal and like loving for us to be able to send to him. Um, and so that's something that we're going to work on behind the scenes right now. But if you have any ideas, then let us know in the comments section. But yay, Lone Fox. Yes. And we're back. We love you guys and we will see you tomorrow.